Every day tectonic plates move in the Earth's crust, and with every earthquake we associate a number usually from 1 to 9 of the Richter scale. It tells us the total energy involved, but not so much about the damage done, because it depends on the soil, hypocenter depth and building themselves. So a 4.8 earthquake could be stronger than a 5.8 one. The difference of 1 here is actually very large, 10 times to be exact, because the scale is logarithmic. Sound intensity and our perception also follow a logarithmic curve. We now graph log of x to see that it plateaus for large values of x, uh, which is why it was invented in the first place in the late 16th century, to deal with large numbers to a good estimate. When you fold the paper along y equals x to get a mirror image, you get a familiar exponential function, so logarithm is really just an inverse of power. That also gives us a hint why is it so common in nature, as a power function with Euler's number in the base is a solution to a differential equation where rate of change is proportional to the changing variable. We must not forget that logs in forms of slide rules were also used not so long ago instead of calculators as you could reduce multiplication to addition. Here's a short proof, pause if you like. To conclude, Log of x, as presented in school, may seem like a lonely and boring function, but it is a polar opposite, with many applications and an even more important history.